Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to create a raised bed every day. And what I'm planting in each bed is something that was frost proof in case I get a late frost in May. But I'll, I'm going to keep building until I make 20 raised beds. And as I go along, as it progresses, I got three raised beds now. And when I get 20, by the time I get to 20, it should be a lot warmer where I can plant some of the stuff that's not going to get hit by frost too hard if I do get a frost late in May. Um, but you don't have to do everything in one day. When I see people, they build stuff all the time. Um, they got to get it all done one weekend. That's not good for your health. If you just do one a day, you get plenty of exercise and you can plant your plants that you need to plant at the right time so you're not rushing to get everything done in one day it's just more time efficient it takes 15 30 minutes out of your day to make these raised beds and so I just wanted to point that out and now I'm going to show you the third raised bed and what I planted in it and how I did companion planting um, with the kale the onion and the um, lettuce romaine lettuce because the onion is a companion plant to the lettuce it's also a companion plant to the kale so I planted it right straight in the center of this raised bed hey y'all drop here um, so this is leftover kale from last year and I've transplanted it over here and I'm gonna grill some more kale this year and I've got some red burgundy onions and then I've got romaine lettuce for the rest of this third raised bed that I'm doing I'm gonna do a raised bed every day So it's going to get pretty exciting. This method of watering is going to go away as soon as I get my uh, uh, new stuff that I'm ordering. So I can actually just uh, mass water all this stuff into the actual soil itself. And eventually when everything pops up, I'll be covering it with organic garden bark so that um, it'll retain water a lot better, especially during the summer. It'll trap the water underneath the soil. It helps with worms growth and keeps your soil from drying out, especially in a dry, arid, uh, almost desert-like climate that I live in right here. So this is the third bed. I'm going to build another one tomorrow, another one the next day. So if you think about it, this is Monday. Thank you, Mr. Big Jerk. That's my rooster. Uh, let see. So Monday's three, four, five, six, seven. So I should have seven beds by Friday. By the weekend, I should have almost nine in. You don't have to kill yourself and do it all at one time. You can do this one bed at a time. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is because not only am I companion planting, which is kale, onions, lettuce, those are all companion plants of each other. The, the lettuce is companion of the onion, and the kale is the companion of the onion. So you see how that works? So what I'm gonna do is that we're, I'm gonna be um, building this out throwing in some bark, some regular organic bark. Now you can get this bark large, small, whatever you want. And then once I've got it, I'll cover the bed with it and it will naturally be used to um, hold and retain water, help with worm growth and everything else. Thanks for watching and I'll give you an update as I move along with this project of a market garden for my neighbors.